What's going on, guys? Hey, repeat back with you. Let's get rid of this coming up soon or starting soon screen. Yeah, it is, uh, well, it's Tuesday night. That means it's time for the NNR Truck Series week number five. Uh, I was just losing all, tra all track of time talking to old Lucky Dog here, and he says... Yeah, no, we're we're week five. I missed a couple weeks for this or that, and then Boehner in the background yelling at me. No, Pete, yeah, you dummy, we're on week five also. So, yeah, um, man, Homestead Miami Speedway, Alpha York, what's going on? Vols fan, good to see you. You did it. Thanks for the follow, and Yotes, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you all. So, uh, yeah, Homestead Miami Speedway under the lights. These guys are going to be running a whole bunch of custom schemes as a one week only. Thank you very much, Coey. Coey, thank you very much, Lee. Kind of thing. So, Lucky Dog, yeah, this, uh, man, this track, I remember when it first opened up, it was all about, um, you know, the, I think it was like the first track with the, with the different, you know, levels of banking. And here we are now. The bottom series trucks about to go full 100% race. I'm ready to go. Welcome back, sir. How are you? Thank you, Pete. Uh, I'm doing great. I can't wait to be uh, watching and commentating over another NNR Truck Series race here tonight at Homestead Miami Speedway. This has always been a fun track to race on. And like you said, this track has multiple grooves uh, around this track. So the top, top lane is as the one that has the uh, most banking on it. But typically, you won't see many guys run up near the top like you do in real life. So the bottom lane is usually the preferred lane when you're by yourself. However, if you want to be on the middle lane when you're racing, guys, because you can get a really good run off the corner because of, that, because of the way the corner is and how you arc it to the corner. You're going to see a lot of side-by-side -side racing. It's going to be very hard to clear guys on the inside or even on the outside, you know, depending on how competitive these guys are. So it's going to be a real, really big test on just racecraft and overall race pace and just how the car is heading over a long run. Also, I think with these presets on Heat 5 compared to Heat 4, Heat 5, the trucks and the cars in general are much tighter. So, I mean, if you were running, let's say, a preset 5 last time and you tried running a preset 5 here, you're going to be very tight. You can get away with running a very high preset. However, that your your truck is going to get looser and looser over the long run. So you have to be cognizant of that. The truck will sit, will still get pretty loose on the long run, despite how tight it may start off. These guys have got a lot of it, got a lot of things to keep in mind for this race, and going to have to do a lot of adjustments during the race to make sure that their truck is handling the way they want it to be. You are not wrong in any sense of the word. I actually ran a few laps at uh, at Homestead with a couple of the the uh, the Cup guys, just getting ready, getting a feel, and I didn't get a chance to switch my preset. It it started me right down the middle, smack you know, right smack at five. And I'll tell you what, by lap five, my front end was pointing towards the inside wall. I had no hope of saving it. I backed out before I collected the rest of the field. And you know, talking about a field, you know. Boehner's in here, and we might be able to bring him in, maybe shed a little bit of light on a couple of rookies that are going to be actually making their start here tonight. So we should have about a 23-truck uh, field tonight. And from what I hear, these guys are going to be pretty good, might even contend right from the get-go, just like Yotes did last week when he got the win. Boehner, welcome to the truck booth uh, for the first time this season. How are you, sir? What's going on? What's going on, guys? Good to talk with you. Thanks for uh, having me real quick here, Pete and Lucky Dog. Always fun to be chatting with you guys. Always exciting to watch an in and our race. So pretty pumped, man. And as you said, definitely uh, we got four guys make or three guys making their truck to be tonight. And uh, really excited to see how they do. Caesar Salad being one. Uh, we got Mike, uh, who's another one with a three. A uh, couple other numbers in there. <laughs> and then. Uh, uh, last but not least, uh, we got DJ Chelsea making his truck debut. So uh, all those guys did did well enough in tryouts. And um, honestly, I, I got to say, I uh, would not be surprised to see Caesar Salad up there and, uh, and running well tonight, Pete and Lucky. Yeah, Lucky, 
it's it's going to be interesting. This is going to this is going to be the biggest field that Detroit have had uh, since uh, you know since Michigan. So it's 23 trucks out here. Normally the uh, the Xfinity guys they up it by oh a couple cars, and then the the. The, uh, the Cup guys have been consistently in the high 20s, low 30s. So it should be a pretty good race. I, if I'm not mistaken, this is also the first night race that we've, uh, that we've run this season. I could be wrong on that, too. It's, it's already starting to blend in between the, uh, the XLCT uh, races, the, um, you know, the... Um, Turned out for what races? The East Park race. I mean, it's just it's it's all coming right together. But I think this is the first night race for for N and R. Not mistaken. So we'll have to see what these things look like under the lights and uh, if it messes with any of their perceptions, their track awareness, or or what. Um, these guys are all going to be pitting coming off a of turn four, so not really going to be riding the apron. Not There really won't be any worry about losing off that. And then, of course, coming on out, they got to stay on the apron all the way around so they merge on the backstretch. Again, use your track awareness. Use your mirrors. Merge when safe and bring it on up. Rock NASCAR. Thank you very much for the, those uh, those bits, sir. Good to see you out here tonight. Hope you're doing well. Vols fan, Boehner, thanks for helping out there. Grace, hello again. Q-Dog, what are you up to? But lucky, it's only going to be just a little bit. Everybody's back in the lobby. Qualifying's done. We're going to be setting these guys loose here in just a little bit. You do bring up a good point, actually, about Pit Road. Uh, Pit Road's a very crucial part around this track. It's about entering and exiting as it is in any other track, but this track more. Entering it's pretty difficult because the banking or the apron, I should say, it's a very rough transition. It kind of comes at you pretty fast. So you come from the high bankings around this track, but then you try and break it to pit entry, and it just feels like a massive, a massive transition. It's like a big bump, and you're like, "Whoa, I gotta get the car slowed down and good enough so I won't speed." And it it comes at you pretty fast. So once that's over, once you're taking a big deep breath, once your pit steps over, now the pit exit is where you can gain a lot of time. You can't run uh, from what I'm. Sagan, typically how we race. We don't run right up against the track. We don't run on that uh, apron uh, above the grass. We run on the the access road, the, the little road that's in between the two patches of grass to, to the left and to the right. That's a very challenging pit exit to na navigate through because, I mean, it's not a lot of room that you could use. It's only, it can only just about fit one truck in, in that lane, in that space. So it's all about making sure that you carry a good amount of speed through there without overdoing without over pushing without getting too greedy making sure you take a cool calm make sure you have a cool calm and co my goodness i can't speak a cool calm collected approach on exit the pit road make sure you don't lose a whole lot of time but make sure that you have you gained enough time to your competitors and one, that you're in a good position one second, okay, as long to runs. i gotta i gotta get that invite done i'll be right back Hey, uh, guys, can somebody send me another invite for some reason the invitation didn't stick i would appreciate wait a minute it. pete i'll get you all right thank you yeah, Pete, there's a problem with the invites. You got to hit the start button instead of trying to go to the invite because it disappears for some reason for some people. Gotcha. Okay, I got it. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck, everybody. We'll talk to the top three later. Basically, on to the back stretch. So, uh, definitely a good point there. It's going to be interesting to see when guys choose, if anyone chooses a short pit a little bit and gain some time there as well. Um, but yeah, man, uh, you nailed it and couldn't agree more. All right, Bainer, lucky I am back and I'm back with your, uh, with your invite. So it'll, uh, come on in whenever you get a second. Rick James, good to see you out there tonight. Uh, man, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a, a party here. I tell you, it looks like it's going to be the 21 of Tenacious Z. He's going to start on that pole. He's got the 16 of Siege to his outside. Got the 40 of old Mr. Slide Job, 38 of NNR Bowling, the uh, three car Monster Mike, 52 of, there's that new Mike uh, Banner, so top five uh, starting spot for him, 15 of T Glass, we all know what he's capable of, 24 of Krabby Soup, the Caesar Salad, another new guy out here, he's going to be starting on that low lane, uh, Yotes King with uh, NNR Swats filling out the bottom row. Own Cornet in that 74, Shadillac in that Rico 99, uh, TGM Beast in the 88, 
more than it been that 23 NNR Rowdy in that 19. I'm sorry, NNR Cowboy. If I can't get his truck right, I can't. Might as well get his name wrong too, right? Uh, Haskell the Rascal in that 33, slowing in the way, rocking that eight truck. Garrett in the 13. NNR Papa Bear rocking that 98. DJ Chelsea in that 56 with the double O of Boss E Geo. And we're working our way back up front. Now guys, we're going to be taking a, uh, a quick lap around here uh, for, uh, for Koei. One more just like we did last week. So please come on out, hang out, chat it up with everybody out there. And we'll be back when they take the green. Yeah, absolutely looking forward to it here as we're uh, getting this pace lap as we're underway and on the second pace lap of this race here. Got to keep an eye out for some of the rookies like Boehner set, uh, Caesar Salad, Mike, and I believe uh, DJ Miller are some of the new guys, new faces in this league. I think it's uh, either Caesar Salad or Mike who have been looking really strong so far. Keep an eye out for those two as we're head on, heading to the green, I believe. Or another pace lap, sorry. I don't know. I don't know how many pace laps are doing. It looks like they're doing three. <laughs> but, um... Uh, anyway, I mean, let me look at the front of the field, actually. And, um, no, no looks like we're going right. green. Okay, that yep, was a really went. late start. That was, <laughs> that was sort of starts finish line. That was, uh, very bizarre. We're underway! Sorry! Yep, no, you're right. No, you're, you're fine. Uh, as you said, 21 today, you see, a little bit late to the, to the team meeting. Uh, but because of an yeah. issue, he was able to get on up here, qualify, and get this thing going. So, you know, Lucky, you said during pre-race how that middle lane was going to be pretty important. It looks like Tenacious Z is already there and allowing his truck to wash up towards that outside wall in order not to scrub off too much speed. Getting right back down to where we just mentioned again and really holding a pretty wheel for him. Yeah, doing a pretty good job so far. I uh, got slide job right behind him, going a little lower on the track, but I think also these guys... They start off really tight with the presets. Presets are pretty tight to start off with around this home set, from my recollection at least. So I think these guys are just having a hard time trying to get the car to the bottom of the track. But now, I think as they're more used to their surroundings, you see uh, Tenacious holding a pretty steady wheel right now in three and four. Uh, so they're heading into turn one and two. And uh, Slide Job's trying to mount a pretty good charge up the front there, but C just right behind him in third. Yeah, kind of keeping up right now. Kind of, I don't want to say mid-pack, but just a few cars behind our leaders. Uh, checking up with one of our first time be the 52 uh, Halmar machine for Mike T24. Uh, running that mid to mid to high line. I uh, had the 26 right under him. Really uh, kept that truck up high in order not to come on down. Howler, thank you very much for the 10 bits. Absolutely appreciate it. Glad to, uh, glad to see you out here tonight. Uh, right behind Howler, you got that 15, or I, I'm sorry, to the outside of, of Howler now. Got that uh, got that 15 and T-Glass. T-Glass already a two-time winner here. Uh, yeah, he was another rookie that kind of came in and started running really strong right off the bat. And you know, so far, he's got the lead pack in sight. Hasn't really caught any kind of a draft yet. Don't quite know what draft setting they're racing with tonight. But so far, we're about five or six laps in, and we are still all green. Everybody so far doing a pretty good job. Ah, Vander, thank you for the reminder. It's looking like we're, uh, I think we're in lower draft because the field's already pretty spread out in the looks of it. Uh, could be wrong here, but mention T-Glass, if you pay a little attention to that car, you say, hey, that's a different looking look truck we got. Yeah, it's a, it's a red, white, and black truck here. I think these guys are given permission to run custom trucks this week. So typically, T Glass ran in Tanner Gray's Ford uh, F-150, a nice little blue hot truck. I was going to say hot rod, but that wouldn't really uh, make sense. But he's in a he's in a brand sponsored uh, Ford F-150 this time. It's looking pretty good. However, it's going to be pretty confusing. Uh, trying to keep track of who's around him there. You see Yotes in the 10 and the uh, 26 truck with them, all red, white, and black trucks. Uh, near each other but yeah so uh pretty cool to see that and yotes speaking of yotes side by side with the 15 t glass you know great job uh so far this season uh last week got his first career win at atlanta and it was trying to make a move on the inside there didn't quite work out for him but holding a uh pretty firm wheel so far just taking it easy but trying to get around these guys however it's just stage one so there's plenty of time for these guys to make adjustments Whoa, 40 
Stadium uh, sledge. I've got Wicked Loose right there coming on the high side. I was going to ask you just before I, I decided to jump back up to the leaders because I had seen that they were too wide. Uh, but I remember the, uh, the the Tony Stewart and Carlin. Uh -oh. Man, I think uh, a lot of these guys can't wait for that uh, for that first chance down pit road. However, they don't want to be the caution because if you uh, if you're the if you end up being the reason for the wreck, you're going to the back, and you don't want that. But um, I remember the the Cardwards Tony Stewart battle right here when Tony Stewart won his final championship. Do you think that these guys are actually can carry uh, that much momentum around that high side? Or do you think it really is more of a low line to middle line track? It all depends on how their trucks are performing and then how many trucks are in a group. Because if you're by yourself, there's no doubt. And uh, we got a big spin. Caution is out. Big spin on the front straightaway. I think that may have been T Glass. Yep, T Glass spun it on the front stretch there. Big damage to the front of that Ford F 150. Caution is out. Yeah, Bainer just put it out there in chat as well. 15 to T-Glass went around. So good call, Lucky. Mr. Uh, Dan on the spot, if you will. But, um, yeah, so now these guys are going to get their chance. Whether they started off low and were really starting to struggle with a little bit of a tight truck, uh, whether it's just because of the preset or if they were, if, if it was because of the dirty air, um, you know, now they're going to have a chance to go on in and loosen it up. Or if these guys that, that we've seen them, you know, in the front uh, started off pretty loose after just a few laps to now go on down pit road and uh, and straighten this up. And actually looks like it's going to be a manual caution, not uh, it wasn't a game caution. So that was a, uh, uh, a a call by by SWATs or by or by bowling to allow everybody to to fix their damage. Maybe the maybe a caution should have come out, but it did. So caution number one for tonight, and it's going to be for uh, for T-Glass. Yeah, about that. I had to rebound after messing up the initial start there. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> um, I had to oh, voice. I had to say, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I, the Vayner uh, mentioned it. I don't know if Vayner's still in here, but uh, can you give us a little more info on what call? I mean, we, we obviously saw the T-15 and T-Glass spinning there on the front on the uh, front stretch there. Did he just get a little loose? Was there some contact with the truck? So I only caught the back end of it, Lucky Dog. Uh, I actually didn't see where the initial contact was, but I mean, I would just speculate that there was quite a few guys starting to get loose there. I think without the adjustments in the car, uh, you know, it may have just gotten away from him. It didn't look like he was really side by side with anyone, so not really sure. As you guys know, sometimes the cars get loose off a of two or four and they'll shoot down real quick. And if someone does get there, then uh, that might send you right back into the wall, but not entirely certain what caused that all right thank you yeah that's actually a good point he brings up you know with this track you can get pretty loose when you're side by side and you're running higher and higher up the track you, you can get a really big uh, tank slapper off the corner so that's a good point that Bainer brought up there and these guys should be good on fuel before i think they were through up short so fuel is not an issue for the rest of the stage yeah, I'm yeah. sure everybody came on down pit road, you know, either loosened it up, tightened it up. But one thing's for sure, no matter the adjustments, everybody took four brand new Eagle feel goods. We're going to come back to racing with 21 and Tenacious at the line. 40 of slide job oh, no. is outside and <laughs> nope, they're going to make a liar out of me. <laughs> We're going to take one more pace lap. So now I know how you felt last time. Oh, so yeah, we'll keep that down. caution flag out there. But. The, yeah, the 20 and, the, and the, I'm sorry, the 21 and the 40, uh, Lucky, just a moment ago, they were battling pretty hard. Let's see if those adjustments are helping battle even harder, or if, you know, as they uh, as they always say, cautions breed cautions coming down that backstretch. Yeah, good point about that. I was actually watching, I kind of joined a little late watching that battle, but I did see the 16 truck get pretty loose, bang the outside wall just a little bit, and it almost bounced right to the path of Monster Mike in the three. Uh, that was a... Uh, you know, heart and heart and mouth moment. I don't know if that's the right uh, metaphor there, but he was definitely very close to causing a big wreck in the top five. So he, I, I would think that 16 had made, would have made some adjustments to tighten that car a little bit on the uh, off the exit. But hopefully we're going to green here. I'm going to give it to you so I don't make the same mistake. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be good to go. Everybody looks like they were, you know, right there with the uh, with the throttle, and we're gonna we're gonna bring them back, bring them back. Green, there we go. As soon as I can get the words out, Vols, thank you very much for the bit, sir. Absolutely appreciate it. Tenacious Z is going to go ahead and pick up the Ooh. pick up the uh, the lead. Thirty-eight of uh, bowling. He's going to go ahead and actually try to challenge 
to his inside. He should be able to get in and off. But here's going to be where my question is answered. Will that high line momentum be able to carry Tenacious not only right back up uh -oh, to the door with that 38, but will 52. they be side to side? 52 is around the 74 of Cornet. 52, one of the newcomers, Mike, had a big wreck there. More than the cape, I think, just slammed the barrels on entry to pits. That was, man, that's actually a game caution, by the way. That one, that one actually came out. Yep. Another big wreck. Well, one more chance, but I, I don't think I, I don't anticipate anybody really making any big changes. Um, I, I mean, half a lap, you're not even really doing anything on on tires, even with the two times wear, two times fuel. Um, but all in all, there's still oh just about 20 laps left in this uh, in this race. I'll grab a uh, grab a um, remaining laps left in this stage once once they go back. Uh, once they go back green again i do have the streams of cowboy matt as well as kg swats and uh one other in here um but yeah back to green 38 of bowling he's gonna actually be the control truck now going into one and two here lucky yeah had a great re restart there and had actually a really good um you know oh, bleh, had a great run there a little short run two out run to get the lead he's already up here in the front, uh, I, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but I noticed with those manual costumes, I was going to say that the guys are doing it at the start finish line, which is pretty uh, unusual there. That's why I was a little confusing, but I caught on that. Um, anyway, um, 21 still hounding the 38, but remember, if I'm bowling, you know, pretty much cost himself a win last week at Atlanta by speeding on pit road on the final pit stop. Had arguably the car to beat, won both stages, got ended up getting fourth when it was all said and done, but definitely wants to rebound and put that week behind him and try and get another win in this NNR truck series at Homestead. Yeah, Bowling was able to, to knock it out at uh, at Las Vegas at, by, if I, no, I'm sorry, he got he got it, at, uh, yeah, at Las Vegas the second Las week. Vegas, T -glass, yeah. Yep, T-Glass won week one, Bowling won week two, T-Glass won week three. It seemed like they were going back and forth until uh, until Yotes King uh, took it and, and uh, ran away with it last week. So, Right now, looks like we're getting a little bit of separation between a few of these guys, but still, now it's it's kind of looking like a couple of different packs here. Uh, look, you got a pack uh, going back to about the 51 of SWATs, I believe that was, and then the rest of the pack is just a little bit further uh, behind these guys, but still a lot of great side-by-side -side racing. Speaking of Yosuke, he's made his way up to second place right now in that number 10 truck. Uh, different number. Last week he was running the 02. Now he's in change to the, uh, the 10. Uh, for the rest of the season, I think. Anyway, he's carrying the momentum from last week after that great victory to make his way up to the front, running P2 right now. Nace is still riding right behind him. But um, yeah, I, like you said, there's just a lot of you know, different packs going on and some really good side-by-side -side racing we're seeing here. You know, there you got the uh, front, what is it, uh, front seven up there, and then you got little pretty big pack fighting for a top top 10 or a top 15 is whoa there's a big old big moment there i can't quite tell who that was there's so many red trucks the eight truck yeah really loose off and they're wrecking again they're spinning at the 74 cornet spins out in the front stretch again that might be another caution i think it is or no it's not quite they're still going green Yep, still uh, still green. Top seven, top eight, absolutely pulling away. Then you've got the rest of these guys. Um, you know, the back here. Only thing that I can see possibly saving these guys in the back, and it could just be a difference of preset. I don't know. Uh, it, but man, the uh, the guys that are up front, they're pretty much all nose to tail. If these guys get in the back, can do that and really get up there and start. Um, start battling they might be able to pull their uh pull themselves back up and uh and try to contend for for the uh for the stage victory as i said next time uh cowboy matt comes on by the start stripe i'll go ahead and grab uh, grab a lap count for us see what we've got left here in stage number one but after those uh, first quick cautions here lucky we uh we're we're, we're green yeah, there was a big one there in the back stretch of with the uh, TGM Beast, the 88 truck, and another truck there. As I believe we we're on seven to go in the stage right now. Yep. Um, and actually, I wanted to give it a little shout out to, uh, whoa, there's uh, our cowboy into the, into the wall there. Big, big battle. 
going on back there. But anyway, that was besides the point. I was going to say one of the newcomers who's running up front, doing a great job, is... Oh, not him. we got to find him. Cedar Salad right there in fourth place in the 26 truck. Doing a great job. Uh, Boehner could probably go into a little more detail about it, actually. He was a little nervous going to the race, but he's new and he's doing a great job and could have had the chance to win. So, Boehner, if you're, uh, if you're still here... Want to go into a little more detail on uh, Cedar Salad and how he was, how he felt before this truck race? I'm, I'm here, and uh, yeah, he was a late ad. He, he got a tryout in this afternoon with a couple other guys, and uh, he was a no-brainer. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see him up here in the top five. He's definitely nervous coming into his uh, first in our race. It was, it's funny. He's asked me in trials. He's like, "Do you think I'll be in the way? Do you think I'll be in the way?" And I was like, "No, I, I, I don't think you'll be in the way." I think he'll be fine. Just get through stage one. I do think he pulled a little bit of strategy, guys. Uh, he did a nice job keeping him in the top ten there. I think he's actually on two tires right now, though. Uh, it was a short caution. It was only maybe two green flag laps on those left, so he shouldn't be too far out of sequence. But I do think he's uh, a little off on tires compared to some of these guys up front as well. So, uh, anyways, that's your uh, new guy update with Caesar Salad up to, up in second. Well, I tell you what, uh, Lucky. Uh, right now, I've been riding along with him for the most part. That you know, Boehner was talking about the the new driver of this uh, number 26 Exalt uh, Silverado. Looks like he's uh, like he's doing all right. If he's out there on two tires, he's actually pulling a, a pass on the 21 of Tenacious right now. Tenacious has been pretty good the first uh, first couple of weeks. Good to uh, good to see him still up here in the top three. But if the 26 is out there on two tires and keeping up with the leaders that are quite possibly on four, that might give a little bit of uh, strategy help to some guys as we get a little bit further on, depending on what kind of information you're willing to give in old uh, team chats, you know? I have to correct myself, too. I, I was talking about the 10 of Yotes Kings who's in second. I think he's on two tires. I think uh, Susan Salad is on four. So sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say there, uh, yeah, 26 doing a great job so far and was uh, challenging to 21 for a little bit, but then he decided right back. Couldn't make the inside of work. And uh, I think we just saw momentarily that Yotes King was uh, making a charge up to the front. But once again, that bottom really didn't prevail too well for him. You're going to see guys struggle to try to make passes work, make complete moves. But um, oh, as he gets a little loose on the inside, maybe touch the apron a little bit. We'll see that happen. Is there? Oh, boy, they're going about to be three wide per second. Then he thought better, but no, too wide right now. As uh, never mind. There we go. Yep, the 26 actually makes a move into third place. Doing a great job. Well, a little bit further in the back here, uh, Boehner, kind of keeping up with uh, with NNR SWATs. You know, the uh, the Truck Series admin rocking these uh, these Rico colors for uh, for you know Coey. Coey's still not not quite ready to return. Still taking care of some some family uh, family business, some family matters. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's not always a, a quick issue when you've got to deal with the with the passing of a loved one. So, Coey, you go ahead. You absolutely take your time. And you know, you know, coming back, nobody here at NNR misses you. I mean, you know, of course, everybody here at NNR misses you. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, but yeah, Coey, you uh, you you take your time. Uh, looks like uh, looks like this 51 of of SWATs. He's got that thing pretty much dialed in. I'm gonna guess he's taken some time and really practiced, figured out what preset he was gonna need. Might have you know determined that there might be a caution somewhat early as we come to the end of stage number one, and uh, we're about to, to stack them back up one more time. You're lucky and and set these guys free to start off with stage stage number two. In the meantime, we're going to take a quick commercial, guys, and we will be right back. Hey, NNR fans. Don't miss any of the action by following or subscribing to Repeat's Twitch channel. Turn on notifications, and you'll always know when the best preset league on Xbox hits the track. Check out his YouTube channel, too, to see all of NNR's past races. Follow No Name Racing as well as Repeat 1975 and others on Twitter, and you'll never miss any of the action. All right, so lucky, yeah, at the line, these guys are gonna gonna go at it one more time. 38 bowling, 21 a tee glass at the front. We're going green, sir. Yeah, going green once again for stage two, and uh, you brought up a good point. Last stage, uh, Coey for watching. 
um, you know, sending you my prayers uh, and everyone from NNR is sending our prayers. You know, sorry about the terrible loss that you had this past week, and I'm hoping that you know everything's going to get better. And you know, he's I just really hope for you, hope the best for you. I can't speak today. Jeez, I, I'm not so terrible. <laughs> I've been there. Too. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family, and I hope that you know you'll be coming back soon and coming back much stronger. So. Um, sending, you know, once again, hope all is well and can't wait to see it back on track. And, um, yeah, that's why we're seeing so many tribute cars on this uh, here at Homestead this week. You see, uh, it's like Bowling and, uh, Yotes King have some, uh, tribute cars there running on the white, red, and black colors. And, uh, I got to slow down my speech because I'm getting to, the, I, I can't complete full <laughs> sentences right now. And I'm pretty embarrassed about that. But anyway, up at the front. The 26 is making a move for second underneath Tenacious. Kind of sent it in there a little bit, trying to make it work. Going to have a little push from the 99 in this front straightaway, trying to make it move up to second place. Yep, working my uh, working my way through. 26 is Caesar Salad now uh, challenging for that P2 spot. Tenacious, he's going to go ahead and just move on up, but the 26 wasn't able to really get the throttle down. Uh, Tenacious had him bit. You know, I, he wasn't really pinching him down, you know, on to, on his door, but he was doing it in a, in a, in a, that the 26 couldn't get back in the throttle because he had to keep up with the same pace that the 21 had. In that position, you can't exactly make a move to the inside when a truck is down there and just going to the outside is going to cost you too much time and open the door to the guys behind. So pretty smart driving by that 26 so far. Yeah, been very smart, you know, from the 26. He's been doing a great job, and that's a little early in the stage, but it looks like these guys are going to be three laps short on field. So, I mean, whether these guys can save three laps or not in this in this uh, stage, uh, that's going to be up to them. I mean, I don't know how it's going to work out for them. I think there was a, bit, a little bit of a wreck in the back or some contact deep in the field, but it seemed like they gathered it back up. That was almost a caution. But anyway, uh, these, yeah, they got fuel to look after right now. I don't know if these guys are going to be really pushing at all. Uh, or no, I don't know if these guys are going to be saving at all. I think with pre-set gears, I think it's just, I think, the, ge I think the, the fuel mileage wears off more. It doesn't automatically save, so these guys are just going to be running their full pace at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, the, the only way that any of these guys are going to save anything in Boehner is he's, he's got to be very, very good at it. If you've got the stir and you can jam it into neutral, allow it to coast until you're ready to get back on the throttle. You jam it into neutral all the way through, throw it back into throw it back into gear when you're ready to get back on the throttle. And the, that entire, you know, what, first uh, first part of the of the turn. You, you just save it. If you could do that lap after lap after lap, and you, maybe you practiced it, or maybe you did, you just realize that you're two and a half to three laps short. You can save that much, um, but it all it also all depends on on uh, you know, the amount of of, uh, of time you're out there on track. With 21 laps remaining, um, over the course of the entire stage, yeah, I think you could easily you know. Run a run a lap and a half, and then another lap and a half uh, extra. So, I, I think it's very possible. All right. Well, I mean, we'll have to keep an eye out for guys who are going to be doing that fuel strategy. Um, Look at Swats. He's running in P7. He's moved up three spots uh, from 10th. He got a stage point last stage in stage one, so he's moved up through the field. I don't think he'll be saving uh, at, the, at the current moment. But anyway, uh, top three is top four hasn't really changed actually. Uh, let me double check there. Slide job, the 40, he's moving he's moving towards the back. He's moving, he's also out of places. He's on the back half of the top 10, I think, if I'm correct there. He's the 40. Yep. Battling the 88 right now. See the newcomer, Mike, in the 52 right in front of him. And the Stuart Friesen truck doing a pretty good job. Is he? Oh, boy, he gets very tight off turn four. Almost hits the wall. I was a good save by him. But, yeah, the 40, he uh, went towards the front, but really hasn't had the same speed that he had at Atlanta last week. And, Albeit these, those two tracks are pretty different from each other, but uh, you know he's around top ten, but probably not having the race he wants to be having so far. As he gets very loose right now. Oh my goodness, off turn two, and yeah, he's gonna lose a few more places. Yeah, yeah it's funny. You know, you're you're talking about being being tight that that soon. Uh, we're just uh, what. 25 laps ago, or, or or more, you know, we we were talking about cars being or trucks being 
And Yo, there's a caution. Wicked loose very, very soon. Caution uh, caution number three is out. Um, the, this is uh, the first one of stage number two. So we'll go ahead. And, uh, this, is, this is actually a game caution, so it should be pretty quick. And, uh, again, allow these guys to do whatever they need to do. But like, as you saw, uh, Lucky, there were quite a few people that were needing those uh that at least that those uh right side tires at least that right rear um to try to get back into it yeah Boehner not quite sure what happened either I was kind of looking at the long uh long haul and uh all down the straightaway and I I didn't see anybody go around but that's just me yeah didn't quite see what happened either it didn't seem like there was a big wreck or anything uh maybe it was just one of the maybe the cautions were a little stripped there but anyway we're getting ready to go back onto green once again and yeah, fuel should not be an issue for these guys. You're gonna see them push as hard as they can. Yep, see the uh, see the 38 of bowling get a pretty good start. One of the able to drop right in. And all all happening right in front of that that uh, that 26 behind them. You see the 99 of Shadowak to his outside. Uh, looks like the 16 16 to Siege. He's uh, he's gone by the by the wayside tonight. Very uh, very unfortunate for him, but. Uh, lagged out, something happened. Uh, now checking in with the with the 40 is slide job right behind the 88 of Beast. Beast is now to the ninth outside the 19 of Cowboy, and they're still you know uh, at least two or three rows deep, uh, side by side racing. But everybody now looks like uh, looks like uh, looks like Tenacious now has that lead as they try to look through this field. Tenacious taking the lead away from Bowling there. Very good job by him. I mean, it almost looked like Bowling. I want to say Bowling was untouchable, but it's very hard to pass. He was running a great line, holding a steady wheel, and then he just finally worked his way around him here in stage two. And, yeah, well, like you said, I mean, the battle here in this back half, the top ten is just there. I mean, they're side by side, using every lane, using every bit of road that they can to make up places. I mean, it's very intense right now. As they're about three wide right now, and, man, the 40 truck, he is he's beating a sandwich. He gets put into the wall. The big wreck. I just got his T-glass. 4360. I think he's. I think he's still going. Oh, they're still wrecking. Eight, eight truck into the wall. That's got to be a caution. I mean, I'm. Yep, there you go. Game caution. Very big wreck there in the back stretch. Even heading into turn three. Yeah, and I saw uh, T Glass. He was actually uh, for a minute there. It looked like he was up on two wheels, and then yeah. bringing it on back down, almost save it, and then he got contacted again. So great attempt by T Glass to try to keep that without collecting. The, uh, the back uh, back quarter of the field or so. So even though you know he might get called on the caution, uh, they might have to see who made the initial contact, but T-Glass well save that, save that truck. Boehner, do you have, do you have a, a bird's eye on that or any idea what happened? Nope. Unfortunately, I'm enjoying this great racing up front, side-by-side -side with Tenacious and Bowling. And uh, did not see what happened, but it looked like a few cars got collected. Sounded like Lucky had a good, a good uh, spot of it. But yeah, T glass around. All right, so going to Tenacious now, and uh, 38 of Bowling. They're going to take their usual positions. 26 of uh, Caesar Salad, and let's see, not quite sure who that was there in P4, but Lucky going into one and two for the first time again. And Bowling just gets off jump so well even this time when he's on the outside he was almost clear of the 21 i mean he's just been really great in these restarts as oh boy the 33 just about saved and a great job by him not coming back in front of the field in that middle of the pack he's just been hectic all day but anyway yeah bowling completes the passer here used the high side to his, to his benefit now back up into the lead right now as we are oh i couldn't even tell you. i think we're almost near 10 to go left in the stage Right now, Bowling still back to the lead where he's most comfortable, it seems. And 21 trying to mount a charge here in the middle lane, but it looks 26 coming low. And Mike up to the top five right now in the 52. Yeah, Mike uh, doing pretty well. Staying in the top five. Has been since the drop of the initial green. Right now, Bowling's got the uh, got the the rest of the field right where he wants to see him and right where he's seen him before. He'd love to watch, you know, notch uh, win number two here in, in week five of, of the uh, the NNR truck season and doing uh, doing a pretty good job. Got the 21 of Tenacious right to his outside. He was on the pole. He's led a few laps as well, kind of working through the field.
field. There's uh, that, there's that 52. Mike now sitting right behind the uh, the number 10 truck. So Yotes King right now sitting in P3. He's also no stranger to that lead. He'd love to get that clean air all over that Silverado's hood right here at uh, at uh, Homestead Miami, Dan. Yeah, he made a bold pack to third place there. That was very, uh, pretty much pins and I don't know how to. I, I'll shut up. Anyway, we're um, <laughs> we're in. I believe we're now six to go left in the stage, right now. Six to go, coming to five to go right now, and twenty one. Lost a little bit of ground right in turn one and two to thirty eight. It looks to me like yeah, it's it's got to be low draft at some point because if it was normal draft, he would have caught a bunch of time on him on the straightaway. But caution 21 down. still going to show him. And there's another caution, and it's going to be a uh, three-lap shootout for the end of the stage. Yeah, I look, it looked like the uh, the like the 26 got uh, either loose or he got turned, and there was just nowhere for him to go. So a guy that's been up there running strong, running competitive with it, every other you know person that's been uh, that's been up here in the lead. 26 he'll have uh, he'll have a little bit of work to do but lucky there are a lot of laps left once we get into stage number three as you said though um coming to the at least about i think there's going to be you know what would be uh, a, a green white checker here to, to end stage number two i'm seeing some strategy calls right here i'm seeing swats is pitting topping her off he is looking towards stage three he is pitting already he's going to Sacrifice the place that he was in for, and gonna try and have the benefit of starting up near the front in stage three. So keep an eye out for that. There, it wasn't just him. There was about, I think, half the field is about to do that strategy. So we're gonna see a mix-up or the start of stage three. But anyway, Bowling gets up to another great start. Takes the lead once again. Yeah, Bowling's gonna be able to get down low, get dirty in one and two. Got a little loose coming off the corner. That's gonna allow a big run by the 21 of Tenacious. 38 should be able to dive it in, but 21's going to kind of keep him a little pen down. And 21's actually washing back up on track. It all depends if that 38 can get go. the hammer down, coming off. And it looks like he will. A little bit of contact deeper in the back. 38, 21, a little bit of a drag race going back into uh, turns. And it looks like that's going to be the end of the stage with the caution. So one more time, guys, we're going to take a Quick commercial break to bring stage three all to you. Let's go to uh, let's go to NNRLeague.com, Zazzle. Hey, NNR fans. Are you looking for a way to rep your favorite NASCAR Heat preset league on Xbox Live? Look no further. Just go to NNRLeague.com, scroll down to the Zazzle tab, and see what we have to offer. From t-shirts to hoodies to clocks, we have everything you need to show your support. Thanks for being the best fans, and we hope to see you at the track repping that NNR Red. All right, Dan, sorry about that. I did not mean to uh, to cut you off if I did, but here we go. Starting stage number three, the 19, a Cowboy up front with the 38 of bowling. So this could be that strategy you were talking about. Yeah, so 19 out there start up front didn't pit. I'm guessing other guys pit. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, you know, I was seeing Swats. Actually, Swats is towards the back of the field, so that didn't quite work out for him. But, yeah, 19 and out the front for the first time tonight. A little new, unfamiliar face went to front for tonight, for, for today at least. And 38, he's, he's not worried. He's just going to go straight to the front right now. Everyone on the outside going to train against the 19 and the 38 back out in front once more. Yeah, 38 got a huge push uh, from behind. I mean, there was a three-car train. Not really much that the 19 of Cowboy could really do about that. Now here comes the 52 of Caesar Sally. He's going to try to look underneath. 19's going to either give the room. Nope, he actually came down and slammed that door shut. So now we've got back-to-back -back winners for back-to-back -back weeks. While well, we've got the uh, the 38 of Bowling and the and the uh, the 10 of Yotes King. Last week's winner now in first and second. Tenacious Z right now in in uh, P3. He wants uh, he wants uh, to notch that win as well. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I'm gonna try and look towards the middle of the field right here. Slide jump once again. He's made his way back up to fifth actually. So he's making his way up here. Looking at the double zero of Boss Geo. Man, they're really fighting the middle of the pack here. Three wide, three by three there. Mike is. On the inside of that first group, 99, they're all, oh man, they're bouncing off each other. Oh, it's getting hectic there. These guys have been 
racing hard in the middle pack. And uh, Cowboy is just falling back down the order with that strategy call. It hasn't been working out too well for him. But you see the 24 Krabby Soup on below the three Monster Mike. is oh, a little bit of contact off turn four there. Just make sure the track can get really loose. But yeah, the paint, they, they, I mean, you got to check out this racing has just been intense here. I mean, they've been, it's like they're fighting like it's time to go. Yeah, no kidding. The, uh, you got 26. He's starting to, starting to work his way back up. Uh, you see the uh, you see the three, you see the the double O, like you just said, bossy nineteen to cowboy. He's finally uh, been able to get off that bottom and maybe carry just a little bit more momentum uh, as everybody else kind of behind him, either double wide or or, uh, or three wide coming off the corner, still working our way way through. But Mike, uh, you know, uh, the other one of the, one of the other rookies, first uh, first race tonight. He's sitting here in about oh seventh place in this uh, this Halmar Tundra, looking pretty good though. Yeah, I think he, I think that's eighth. I think I could be wrong if I. Yeah, that, that should be eighth place right there. So yeah, sitting well in the top ten. Lost a few spots from before. I think he was up to as far as fourth place. So I think something. He restarts a very head throw on his track, so he probably lost a few places there. But single, well, not anymore. I mean, they were a single five. But it looks like Tenacious is trying to make a move on Yotes King on the inside. Yotes King running the higher line but yeah the 52 mike have has been running a, a good race been keeping it cool calm he's just not been trying to be too aggressive he's riding behind the 15 looking at low not going to make a move to this corner but he's been running a good race these new guys have been doing a good job i mean you look at peter salad and, and mike they've just been running a very clean race from the top 10 the whole time and peter salad even running contending for a win right now and it's just been it's some good stuff so far i mean this race is Brought everything. Yeah, I, uh, I I've been all over Twitter and Facebook and whatnot here lately, trying to to push the option of subscribing to my channel. And I was actually going to start giving back. Uh, looks like we might have a caution come out. A couple cars hard to the inside wall. Riding on right now with uh, with the 24 of Krabby Soup. Uh, over the last 11 months, uh, ever since I uh, you know got high enough in the in the uh, Twitch standings uh, to where I got my my affiliate level and started to you know, work on the followers, work on subscribers and all that. Um, over the last you know several months, Krabby has gifted about tw about 20 different people uh, subscriptions to my channel. He himself uh, has subscribed multiple multiple times. Well, I pulled my uh, my subscriber list and. I put a whole bunch of names, you know, I, I put all the subscribers into a hat as well as the, the five um, NASCAR.com uh, gift cards, $10 gift cards that I've got, the three Amazon.com $10 gift cards that I got, and then the, uh, the Dale Jr. Diecast. Well, I asked my wife to go ahead and then pull out a name and pull out a prize, and it actually came up with the one and only Krabby Soup. So I, I talked to Krabby in uh, in the driver meeting in front of everybody else, and I thanked him and I congratulated him. Krabby uh, won the uh, won the Dale Jr. Diecast uh, for uh, for this month. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those uh, up right about this time next month. I'll go ahead and pull that again. Uh, but if uh, anybody out there watching, if you want to get involved in that, if you want a chance at a at a NASCAR.com gift card, Amazon.com gift card, and I might even do another diecast down the road, we'll have to see. Uh, please go on over and smash smash that subscribe button. I absolutely appreciate it. And um, yeah, Krabby, uh, you more than appreciate it. I appreciate all of your all of your support, all of your time, all of your promotion, all of your um, you know everything that you've helped me do with my uh, with my channel. So, Krabby, um, I, if uh, I I probably couldn't have handpicked a uh, a more deserving person. I'm glad that uh, glad that you were you were one of the ones to get a get a first win. And thank you very much, Krabby, sir. I, I appreciate you, man. Uh, yeah, Fatless, I couldn't agree more. Um, absolutely very 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 well deserved so now i'm going to work my way back up front again i've been watching uh crabby and that hooters uh throttle for a while let's uh, let's see what's happening back up in the in the in the front see if we've had any any lead changes here lately 
well, it's been bowling at the front. You start to pull away to get to be out of second place just a little bit. So he's been running very consistent times right there towards the front. And uh, it's been tenacious in P2. It looks like Yotes King and right there in third. And the 88 of Beast is maybe up to fourth place. So impressive run for him so far. And he got Teague last round at the top five. And it's just been these, this little pack of five just spread, a little, spread out away from the field. My way on back up right now. Here's uh, now riding around uh, with the, what is this? I believe it's going to be, 20, yep, 23 of uh, more than a cape, a little bit further into back, rocking the Valvoline colors. Now back up with this 19. You know, we, we saw the 19 uh, lucky win when he didn't pit, came out, you know, or stayed either. He uh, was on the older tires, a couple laps older than everybody else. And it looks like he has absolutely dropped quite a bit, but probably not a quite a, quite as far back as he could have. Right now, he's sitting about P12 with 59 laps remaining here in stage number three. So, all in all, not too bad. It might serve a little bit better uh, if he was a little bit further back um, than you know, he might have been. So, it, it could still pay out for the guy. Worm Rider, what's happening, sir? He yeah, didn't still pay off for him. That was a rough start for him starting first and then just fell boy back down the order. Uh, it's been a tough race for him so far if we run around mid-pack. But you know, never know what can happen. I mean, he could probably learn for next time if he ever wants to pull out strategy again. But um, he had doing, he's doing all right. He's running with the 51 of Swats. So right around. So I'm watching Swats' streams. So that's actually pretty pretty cool to see that he's running around there. So he's, uh, I think, uh, around 12th place or so. So, or... A little bit outside the top 10, so he's still running a good race right now. And it's going to take, you know, we still got about, I think, 57 laps to go, maybe 56 right now. Uh, left in the race, so there's plenty of time for strategy to shake things up and plenty of time for, you know, whatever kind of chaos to happen. So you just keep running his race, he'll be up there. He'll just get some good points at the end of the day. Yeah, it, it's, it'll be interesting because. Uh, depending on what kind of fuel he's got left in there. I can tell you that right now, Cowboy, he's got uh, uh, nine laps left in the tank. And when he comes on by the start stripe next time, it'll be 56 remaining in the race. So he's going to have to pit a couple laps earlier than everybody else. And that could either hurt him or it could help him. Uh, help him because he's going to come out with the freshest rubber, might be able to make up a couple positions, and then if a, a caution happens to come out, it could help him even further. Uh, or hurt him because he'll be out there, um, he'll, he'll also have to pit earlier than everybody else when they've still got a few more laps left on their tires. And matter of fact, uh, his tire light just came on. His front right right now is at 19%. So that's something that we hadn't talked about, Lucky. The uh, the right front and right rear wearing as much uh, around this Homestead Miami Speedway versus some other track. Uh, is, is Homestead really all that well known for destroying tires? No, not really. Um, in terms of tire wear, it's not a track like Atlanta where you have to worry about the tire wear or blowing a tire. Here it's more tire temperatures, just overall balance. I'm looking at Swats's stream, and he's burning a lot more right front, about more than 10% right front wear. Uh, the wear itself isn't an issue. You know, not worrying about blowing a tire. You won't. I mean, if, if you do a full run, you won't blow a tire, depending on how you know aggressive your setup is. But here, you know, with the presets, you're going to burn a lot more right front. You're going to be much tighter. So it's going to be down to these guys to make sure that they loosen their cars up just enough to where they have a good split in tire wear, where they have a good handling race car. But mainly, you know, it's all about just trying to save that right front. Make sure you don't overheat it too much and then just have a good good rotation throughout the corner because it's all about making sure that you have a bit so easy to get tight off the corner or you just you back off the throttle trying to not hit the wall when you get loose as a, result, as a result of it because you're trying to turn away from the wall. Just a lot of factors, so it's all about making sure that you keep the tires in check in terms of temperature, so that you won't continue to overheat it and continue to wear it out. But yeah, I... yeah, it's not it's not an Atlanta or uh, or Vegas. It's it's you, you won't run the risk of blowing a tire out. It's all about temps. Well, uh, I I would imagine that this 19 is probably going to come on down pit road as start to see 
more and more like a season 15 and tea glass and one other uh looks like they're making their way down pit road here's that 24 hooters.com silverado again for for uh for crabby soup um and just kind of working our way through the field here's that uh, that 26 again a caesar salad he's gonna he's got to be pretty thankful for a, a long green flag run he seemed pretty uh, pretty strong in the get-go uh but right now that uh, that truck of uh, nnr bowling he is up there he's running fast running away and uh yeah just as i predicted 19 right now is going down pit road he was at four percent on that right front so that right front might be uh, an issue for more more uh, more trucks than we than we see um if you saw a 10% differential between the right front and right rear on uh, who, whoever you were watching, that might be something that's going on throughout the entire field where they're not actually able to go the entire distance on their fuel and they're having to come on in for tires first. Depends on the preset they run. I mean, if they're running like a middle of the road or a low preset, they're going to burn a lot of right front. But if they're running a higher preset, it won't be much of an issue. If anything, actually going to the front, it looks like Yotes King has started to close in. I mean, well, I mean, the 21 has fallen off a little bit. He's just barely within that draft window on low draft. But Yotes King has started to close the gap to the 38. He's much closer to the 38 than it was before. And, you know, maybe the 38's going to gain some time here or there, running a little higher on the track. But Yotes King is starting to put up a challenge like he did at Atlanta over the long run. So we could be seeing another Yotes King upset. Um, you know, if, if the 38 doesn't make the same mistake he made last week. Yeah, they're going to be safe right. for the pits. Yep, 38's going to come on down. Looks like the 10's going to uh, try to follow him. It, it kind of looks like uh, the, the 10 and 21 of Tenacious kind of swap spots. Yep, a little bit of contact there to the back bumper of the 38. I'm sure the 10 saw that, said, man, I apologize. Didn't want to get into him like that, but it looks like 21 of Tenacious. He's going to go ahead and stay out. Your two leaders, though, uh, NNR Bowling. Good to see him get uh change that tag and uh, rip that NNR red as uh, Buddy would like to say. And then uh, the 10 of uh, Yotes King switched his truck up from the 0-2 to the 10. So good to see uh, good to see Yotes uh, running strong yet again showing that less last week when he was able to get it done. Wasn't a fluke. He can run strong week in and week out. So uh, good run so far by Yotes. Yeah, really impressive by him to continue that strong run that he had at Atlanta and to take it here to a home set, which I consider a different track than Atlanta. It's a, unlike any one and a half mile track. You don't have that tri -oval. It's just a lot of race craft. And it's, it's a slick track also. It's very slick to get around. And, you know, it's he's done a really great job so far. And Tenacious is now in the pits. All right, so Tenacious came in just one more uh, lap, uh, one or one lap later. Two. I think it was two, two laps, two. I think. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So Tenacious, he's going to... Uh, now, maybe Boehner can help with this. I, I don't know. Uh, Boehner, have you heard any, you know, chit-chat in, in Team Comms about, you know, maybe trying to shorten the uh, shorten the, um, um, the, the the later laps? Maybe a guy try to do this all on with without having to make one stop where they short by just a little bit. Um, any anything going on there? No, Pete, I don't think so. I think this is a pretty straightforward stage three. I think you're going to see uh, the same amount of stops. If anyone was trying to stretch it, we probably would have known by now. It looks like everyone's pretty much going for it. Don't think there's any fuel strategy to be had unless the caution comes out. Well, fine. Burst that bubble, but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Boehner. Um, <laughs> Bain, I'm absolutely looking forward to you and I hanging out tomorrow night for uh, for the Xfinity race, man. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're gonna see we're gonna see those, those mid-class cars right back here under the lights. Also with the, with a bunch of different custom schemes honoring um, you know Coey and uh, you know letting him know that everybody stands in solidarity with him after the uh, after the loss of uh, of his uncle, unfortunately, but. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good race tomorrow night, sir. Just as much fun as this one. Yeah, once again. Yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Go, ahead. Again, Go ahead. Go ahead, Lucky. I was gonna say once again, Kelly. Um, thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Sorry about the loss of your uncle, and it's great to see all these trucks here 
representing you, and um, hopefully you'll be uh, coming back really, really soon. So, um, you know, keep, 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 keep those prayers in there. And uh, I had another stutter moment. My goodness, I'm terrible. Yeah, I anyway, B I think Boehner was going to say something. Um, I don't know what he was going to say there, but uh, go ahead, go right ahead. I was just saying, yeah, buddy, can't wait for tomorrow night either. So uh, you got a good one going here, but it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow night as well. Back to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got you. Walcott Fire Guy and David G, thank you both very much uh, for the follow. Absolutely appreciate it. If this is your first time catching an NNR race, welcome aboard. Uh, this is our truck series uh, right here from Homestead, Miami. They normally start off right around 9.30 on Tuesday nights, all times Eastern. As I just alluded to, the Xfinity guys will be right here tomorrow night at 8.30. And then on Thursday night, our Cup guys... They, uh, they get to take their turn around this uh, very, very fast uh, track right down, you know, all the way south, south, about as south as Florida goes. But, uh, yeah, welcome aboard. Please don't be ashamed uh, or please don't be um, bashful. Yo, welcome. Chat it up. Keep it going. Nobody here will bite, I promise. Uh, well, Bain has put out that 40 is retired. Maybe he's rowdy. He might bite it. <laughs> so Row yeah, I, Rowdy might bite. You're you're right. I don't I don't know what Rowdy's deal is. He I, I think he's, he's part to. rabid dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um looking towards the front here. Uh Boeing has started to stretch out his lead. I saw I was watching uh Tenacious and I was watching the T cars in front of him and it looks like Yotes King is starting to overdrive a little bit. He hit the wall in three and four really wide into the corner, so I mean he's Trying to get into a good rhythm here, but so far it's been bowling at the front still, uh, doing a, a great job leading this thing. And top three really haven't stayed the same. And Tenacious, after pinning two laps later, really hasn't gained any time on the leaders. And typically that's kind of the case for Homestead. It's pretty hard to gain time on guys with pressure tires this track just because of the fall off rates are just pretty fast. So it's going to be uh, hard for him to close back in on the leader. But it seems like he's slowly closing in on the. Um, I think it's the 10 of Yotes King there. Outlaw Dirt Series, thanks very much uh, for coming out and hanging out. Uh, thanks for the thanks for the follow on Twitter also, by the way. Absolutely appreciate it, man. Uh, slowing in the way, he, in that uh, that 8 machine, he's uh, in the pits. Looks like that thing is parked. Uh, kind of working our way through. Here's, uh, here's the... 98 of old Pop Bear. DJ Chelsea, yep, I guess I found you, huh? Let's see. Vols, you want me to throw an, uh, a shout-out for old American ethanol? That does not require a second thought, buddy. Absolutely. Definitely, uh, guys, American ethanol runs tomorrow night right after the NN uh, Xfinity Series. Be sure to check them out um, as well over on the Vols Fans channel. Absolutely. Go go do that. Go right ahead. And, um, I was watching Papa Bear and uh, hit the wall a little bit. I think he was trying to either get out of the way of Yotes King. And uh, I think my workout for him hit the wall in turn one. But uh, looking like, yeah, the gap is still starting to extend there with Yotes King and, and Bowling. And if Bowling, you know, they're, they're going to have one more stop left if he can hit his marks. You know, it should be another win for him. But there's still plenty of time for another late race caution to shake things up. And, I mean, so far it's been a, a really great race for him. I think he's won both stages again like he did last week. I think he won stage one and stage two this time, if I'm correct. So, doing a great job out in front. Uh, and, I mean, these top three have been doing a great job. And I think the 99 is actually in fourth place. If I can get a, a read on the gamer tag of that truck really quick. Um, that's actually Shadow Act. Shadow Act made his way up to the... Yep. P4 there. I'm not used to seeing him race those colors. Uh, he's running a custom truck this week and had a good. I think he had a good run last week here at Atlanta. Uh, I was having a had a great run and um, started off slow here so far at Homestead, but he's made his way up to fourth place and a, a great job and just taking a lap at a time. Yep. Shad, uh, Shad, he's uh, he's he's been very very strong in that 99 since uh, you know since starting. Uh, th this season, he took uh, he took some time away, uh, but came back and yeah, he's uh, he's running very very competitive. I believe he's sitting 
third or fourth in points, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, want to drop in uh, for anybody out there that just joined. Uh, big shout out to the one and only Krabby Soup. He's gonna be he's uh, the winner of uh, of this month's giveaway uh, that uh, that I've started. He he uh, grabbed the the uh, Dale Jr. Diecast. So I've still got uh, five NASCAR.com and three. Uh, Amazon.com gift cards. Those will be given away in the months to come. But again, big, big shout out to Krabby Soup. Thank you, Krabby, for all your support, all your help. Uh, it's uh, again absolutely appreciated. So for anybody out there, if you're, you know, if you'd like the chance to to win something as well, go on up and uh, make make sure you, you you know slam that that subscribe button. And if you've got Whoa. if you yeah, saw that, uh, if you've got Amazon Prime and you uh, you've obviously got a Twitch channel. If you merge the two together, you get what's called Twitch Prime. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll never see commercials for at least that 30-day period. And, um, yeah, you get special emotes. You get special all kinds of uh, additional content. Anytime, um, you know, the, the game breaks away to commercial, except for the two custom ones I've got, you'll never see. You'll, you'll stay right here with me and Lucky or me and Boehner or me and Word Burton or me and Rick James, you know, whoever is in the booth with me, uh, you get to hang out with us for the entirety of the race. So definitely look forward to chatting with you. Thanks again. You're not going to, that car that was stopped there on the outside was a 21 of Tenacious. Um, he got wrecked there. I, it happened so fast. I was watching the shadow. I can, Went too far in front of him. Before you know it, he was on the, up against the outside wall, wrecked. So the 21 of Tenacious has fallen back a ton. He has lost a lot of places right now. He's outside the top 10. Man, how how quickly did how quickly the tides turn? Uh, how quickly the tables have turned? Or I was gonna say how the turns of table would be funny, but uh, you know that was that would be a terrible joke. But 21 right now is outside. He is. His car is all beat up. It's all right. He hasn't made a pit stop, but what a tough break. He was having a great run, running third. He was up at the front, led some laps, and, you know, had just in the blink of an eye, his race is pretty much over unless there's another caution. Well, he may not need that caution. Look, he might need, you know, just for, you know, uh, that next green flag pit stop to come up. And as I ride along right now with Cowboy, he's only got about four laps left in the tank. And still only about 9% on that right front. So he's still <laughs> running into some issues. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting oh, wow. to see. Now, it will be extra time for this 21 on pit road. But he's had a pretty fast all night long. I almost wonder if maybe something happened with, with his controllers. You know, with his controller, maybe batteries died or maybe his wheel disconnected or something like that. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is he runs with. But... Um, Tenacious, he's been he's been pretty fast tonight. He might be able to work his uh, work his way back through. Vols fan, thanks again for the bits. Absolutely appreciate it. And yeah, guys, that was something else. Vols fan, he's actually over in um, in Korea uh, with the United States Army. Everybody, give a big big thanks for his service out there in chat. I absolutely appreciate it, brother to brother. I'm you know prior uh, United States Air Force security for forces. So I know exactly what you're uh, what you're going through, buddy. You know, uh, definitely wish you a speedy return home after your nine-month TDY. But he's also saying that if he does not win next week when he actually partakes in in the uh, the NNR race at Bristol, he's going to donate a hundred to uh, to more than a capes dot uh, org. So let's hope that. I don't know. Maybe somebody puts him in a wall or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, Vols, Vols, I definitely uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate your service. Uh, thanks for coming out, hanging out, and chatting it up with everybody, buddy. You know I got your six. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be great to. I mean, I don't want to be rude and say don't win, um, but you know it would be nice to see and donate that money either way. So uh, yeah, I'd be a really nice gesture. Uh, in terms of. Disconnected cars looks like this 40 of side job is no longer in this race, so he is disconnected uh, from the lobby. And the 38 still out front. Uh, Monster Mike is heading to the pits, I'm scrolling through right now. Uh, Yotes King, I believe, is still in second place. Uh, Caesar Salwood, I think, is in fourth, if I'm correct. I think Shad Shadowlock will move him up to third. 
I believe the 26 will now be in fourth. So, um, yes. I mean, very spread out amongst the top five. There was a good pack of cars running up here, the top ten or so. But, um, yeah, I mean, this race has been, I mean, like I said, I mean, they get spread out pretty, pretty fast. But coming back to the 21, I think, I mean, I know some guys may be a little short on tires and stuff. But I just don't think it'll be enough for a, uh, I mean, he may get, get a top 10, but I don't know about a top 5. I think that's a very big ask. But he may get some, still get a top 10 out of it, but who knows. Yeah, Caesar Salad, keeping an eye on him. He got Wicked Loose uh, coming off of uh, turns 3 and 4. He's trying to get back up and going. Everybody is dodging him. If you're trying to get back on, you know, Oh, man, get back up and get through the gears. Try to get down to the bottom, not up in traffic. It looked like he was trying to, but just a little too late. Definitely caused some people to get some damage by having to yep. run along that wall. Uh, but, man, uh, Caesar Salad had a pretty promising start to the night. Uh, he He's just can't get spin. back up on track. He's still getting loose. Yeah, I missed him there. I don't know if he was exiting the pits there. I don't think he could uh, go back on track like that. Um, could have been pretty bad, but yeah, having such a promising run and have it, I wouldn't say end like that, but have it go that way, just a really tough deal. Um, was doing a, such a good job before and now just got really loose. Anyway, it looks like he's trying to get back to speed or something, but, uh, yeah, he was having, he was having a hard time there. He was having a few spin cycles that, uh, looks like now he's going to the pits again or so, um. Yeah, tough break there for Cedar South. Had a great run. Uh, really really proved himself here. Had a lot of pace. Was being smart early on. And uh, actually, looked at, I think what happened a while ago, the 51 actually of uh, Swats got taken out. There was a lot of things that happened during the cycles. The 51's got quite a bit of front end damage. And I think they're pairing up right now. And the 13 was spinning off the pit road here there. I mean, this has been a very chaotic end to the stint. Yeah, it has. Absolutely. Marty, good to see you out there in chat. Thanks for coming out and uh, and hanging out, man. Um, we're going to work our way back on through. It looks like our leader right now is on pit road. So let's see if it's uh, if it's the good old uh, 38. Uh, for no, It's not going to be 21. He's just now going down pit road. Uh, there, There is that 38 of bowling. He's been leading. For, for most of the race, got, oh, about 24 laps remaining here in the final stage. About ready to wrap up the uh, the truck race right here from uh, from Homestead, Miami. So, let's see, 38's coming on out. And, yep, by Cowboys Track, it looks like as he merged back up on tracks, you know, taking this, uh, this uh, track out access road uh he will uh he'll go ahead and resume the lead and you know looking back from him lucky i don't see anybody back there so uh looks like the 38 you know barring any anything catastrophic from happening it looks like 38 right now might be pretty decent uh going towards a uh, his second win of the season but at the same point, I, I think they're only getting about 20 to 22 laps of fuel, so he might be just short. He might have to save, but he's got the track position to try to back it down a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, he's got a very big gap to Yotes King. I'd say about maybe four seconds or so to the 10 truck, I think, if that's uh, where the 38 is. I think the 38's in three and four. Yep. Yeah, he is. He's just coming off there, off the turn four. Yeah, I mean, he's... I think he's good personally. I, I'm trying to keep up, keep, keep in touch of Swats' stream and where he's at. Uh, I kind of missed some of that because Swats had some heavy front end damage that he had to repair. But I mean, so far, I mean, yeah, bowling is just—he didn't make the same mistake he made last week, so he learned from that. He wasn't too aggressive on pit entry, got so down, had a good pit stop, and now he's continuing his uh, dominance at the front, doing a really great job right now in the 38 truck and. He'll capitalize a lot this week, like he did last week. So last week, Key Glass had some issues at Atlanta, and Key Glass really, you know, he has been putting a challenge to front. You know, I mean, the 38's gotten a lot of stage points, and 38's currently ahead of him. I mean, 38's leading the race. I don't know where the 15 Key Glass is yet, but he'll be gaining a lot of points in the championship, so he's been doing a great job and very consistent so far. And, uh, you know, I... Just for the sake of, you know, how he's been performing this season and just after last week, I hope he really pulls this thing off. It'd be a great way to rebound after last week after he really probably could have even won that race. So, um, 
right now proving his dominance so far and uh, just doing a all around a very very great job uh, managing this race yeah ben ben uh, riding around with teague last while while you were talking uh he's battling it out back here uh with the 74 and and others yeah the 50 was able to get on by again that 52 he's uh he, he not only caught up to the back of uh, T Glass and, and others here, but he's actually starting to pull away just a little bit. So 52 now up to fourth place, and really showing that you know the the speed that he had earlier uh, was you know it was it was 100 percent legit. It wasn't just because he was in the draft of the leaders. He's actually pulling away from the guys that are behind him, starting to actually run down P3. So. 52's got a got a head of steam. I just don't think he's got enough time to, to uh, try to get back up there. There's the 52 I was just talking about, Worm. He is right here, sir. Doing Whoa. a pretty good job. D Glass has been right behind him. As to say that, he got loose and hit the double zero. He got hit again. That's maybe another caution right here. Well, so far on Cowboy Stream, it looks like they are still green and carrying on, doing what they've been doing for uh, for most of the night. Uh, yeah, back here with T Glass, he's uh, down on bottom, trying to get back up and get going again, trying to get through the gears, trying to run the bottom as much as he can, using uh, his mirrors. Don't see anybody around him, but he's uh, so far he's doing all right. Uh, Worm says T Glass took. Uh, number two in their Xfinity championship. He's damn good. Well, so far, um, yeah, he's uh, he's doing all right, and uh, he's doing all right in here too. Yeah, I just had a tough break. He's, I mean, that may look hard. Oh, Mike, uh, uh, Mike T. Sorry, not T Glass. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. That was because I think um, I think that's probably what caused the first wreck that he was in. T Glass. He just got loose off the corner, and right there, he got very loose off and. He was with the 74. I don't know if the 74 was lapped down or not. Um, probably racing the lap car. But then double zero had a full head of steam, and he hit this double zero bounce off him, hit the wall, and got hit again. And uh, they didn't trigger a caution, so I'm lucky for him because he's in the pits right now. But um, it's, it's good for bowling, though. I mean, he, he's still got a good lead up front. He definitely did not want to see a caution. So uh, somebody was looking out for him for sure. Kind of working our uh, working our way through. Uh, more and more people going on and coming off pit road. See the 19 of uh, of Cowboy just now bringing his uh, his truck on down uh, pit road. He's going to grab four brand new Eagle Feel Goods, no damage to repair. And you know what? Uh, the unless he's taking a little less fuel, I didn't I didn't see that part, Lucky, but. Um, he's saying that he's only going to have about 16 laps left to go um, in the tank when he comes out of the pits. So we'll have to see that uh, when when he brings his menus back up. But um, I'm pretty sure who they were getting again? more than that on a, on a full tank. Who was who that? Who were you saying uh, who had 16 laps? Cowboy. Okay. Yeah, uh, nope. Oh, okay. So that yeah. Swap. So he was just adding on to what he already had. He came back out with 24 laps uh, left in the okay. tank. So yeah, he was just adding to what he already had. I was watching Swats, and when he crossed the line at 15 to go, he had 16 laps left. I'll be he's a lap down, but yeah, he had some fuel left in the tank there, so he should be all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think field could be concerned if these guys pit early. Um, I don't think it should be an issue for bowling. I think he pit one. He was one of the latest guys to pit, so I think he's fine on fuel. Um, I, I don't quite remember when Yotes pit, but I think he would be okay. I don't think he's really lost that lot, a whole lot of time. To, I mean, he'll be losing time. But I don't think he's saving um, to get to the end of the the race. So. Um, I think he may have actually lost the place in a 99 truck there, if I'm correct. Yeah, he did, so I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, I can't quite tell there's no spectator view, but maybe the 99 is now in second place. Um, That's absolutely possible. Um, it, with, uh, without that, uh, <laughs> Without that running order, you know, yeah. uh, you know, back in the day, HD and I used to yell at Zane, saying, Zane, we need the tools. Yeah, well, we don't have that luxury anymore, but um, I'd, I'd love to uh, love to get that back, whether 
you know, if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. But um, hopefully maybe the next game or 10 years from now. I don't know. But uh, kind of riding around right now with the 33 of Haskell, the Rascal. First time talking about him uh, in this Levrack Silverado. Looks like he's got a pretty, uh, pretty good riding machine. Really just a little bit of damage to the to the right front. Nothing severe. Has a little bit of competition from the back. Nothing, uh, you know, nothing really pressing for this guy. Just kind of riding, right, uh, his own line, biding his time, and you know, maybe hoping for that, uh, hoping for that caution to come out. Uh, now here's the 13 of Garrett. He's going to try to woe it up, bring it on down pit road. He might have come down, come on down a little hot. We'll have to see. But a couple more people on on pit road. As uh, as the nights progressed here, Lucky, probably more people than we've seen in any of the, the truck races so far this season. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of trucks come here today, and you're going to say the 33, uh, wanting a caution. I mean, yeah, I would want a caution. He's just gotten a lap of the 38. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, I would definitely want a caution. I want to get back up to the lead lap right here, but uh, that just shows how strong the 38 has been. And, I mean, the 33 has been uh, a decent truck on the long. I think he he's in ninth currently, so he's – He's doing a good job. He's running the top 10 race in the 38 right here, lap in ninth place. So, I mean, it just shows how strong the 38 truck has been around this this track. And if you can just hold on for 10 more laps, I think it is. I think we're coming to nine to go, maybe. Yep, um, you got it. Did, I got it. Wow, awesome, great. I got another one, right? <laughs> um, doing, a, doing a great job continuing to control the field and um, coming to nine to go right here. And um, should be smooth sailing to the end of this thing. Yep, I'm actually looking, uh, moving around a little bit between Cowboy Matt's uh, stream and uh, Swats and Magic Mike. Um, it looks like all those that are streaming tonight are actually a, uh, a lap down, a one lap down or, or more. So, um, no, just, that just again, that just goes to show the the, the kind of truck that that NNR uh, Bowling has underneath them tonight. He's been doing one hell of a job i was actually just riding along there on the hood cam uh with that rico ford and he's uh yeah he's not loose he's not tight getting into the corner it looks like he is absolutely just right so while all these other guys look like they were fighting some kind of a loose condition coming off or really uh tight and pushing in the center of the corner uh he's he's not he's really just able to get that truck to go where he wants it to go so if he's you know tapping the the brake to get the, you know to try to set the nose or or if he's just handling that well uh but if he's handling that well it's no surprise he is where he is he's been up front all night long he's been great on the restarts great on the long run great getting on and off of pit road he really has had a, a pretty flawless night so far i mean absolutely and this really shouldn't be a surprise to us he's already run a race this season at las vegas and was really strong. He's been strong every race this season and, you know, had a good shot to win last week. And so far, I mean, he's just been just absolutely dominant. So, I mean, it really isn't a surprise, but, I mean, he's just been patient with himself. You can see the way he's driving. He's not overdriving it. He's just being calm. He's not really overdriving. He's just driving within the boundaries of the car, and that's what's really set him out from the rest of the field here. As, you know, he, some other guys may have pushed the boundaries too much. And, for example, T-Glass has gotten to it quite a few instances today and he's up he's been up there he's won two races this season he's overstepping his boundaries and you know ended up crashing uh within 15 to go and he's towards the back of the field so you know the 38 right here he's just been doing what he's had to do to try and win this race and yeah i mean it's just been a flawless night for him so far I tell you what, uh, Commander Griff's out there. He's uh, he's an Xfinity Series driver, and he's saying Bowling is repping the same sponsor and colors that the 13 of Griff will run tomorrow. A good omen? Question mark. So we'll we'll have to see. Griff, definitely wish you luck tomorrow. In case I don't get the chance to uh, to uh, talk to you beforehand, but also. Man, thank you very much for all the help out there in chat tonight, both you and Boehner, as we're now under five laps remaining. 38 has a pretty good handle go. on on this field. Uh, man, it's um, there. there is nobody within an earshot of this 38. So I think, you know, with him being in his own zip code, unless, you know, something drastic really happens, I, I think we're going to be talking I, to Bowling about his second win for the night. 
Our I second think, win for the I season. I think they're coming to, I think it's two to go or one to go. Don't correct me on that. I think we're, we're coming. We're real close to the end right now. Well, right now I'm riding along with KG Swats, and he is one lap down. So when he comes on by the start stripe, we'll be sure. That was three to go for him. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're at two then. No, I think we're at one. I think it's the final lap. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. So this should be it for old Mr. Bowling. Checkers or wreckers, he's going to have to bring it on by, and that would be it. So... Coey, old bowling here, running your Rico colors. Congratulations to NNR Bowling for the second win here in, uh, what, five weeks now. So, but great uh, great job by uh, by old Mr. Bowling. Getting it done in Las Vegas, then getting it done at that uh, big old homestead Miami. Man, great, uh, great job by the guy. So, it looks like first through third is going to be bowling. Yotes King in second, and Shad for, uh, what, second week in a row he's, he's going to be in here. So Yotes came in uh, first last week, second this week. I'm starting to see a little bit of a trade-off here, uh, Lucky, Yo between T-Glass and Bowling, and Bowling and Yotes. It seems like these guys are teeter-tottering back and forth. Sure looks like it. And before we know it, we're going to be talking about Shadow like it up to the front. So um, absolutely, yeah, another another, another uh, great run there by the NR Bowling. And it's no no surprise. I couldn't quite get to see what the gap was from uh, first to second, but Yotes came with another strong run. Let me see. He's scrolling up. Please scroll all the way. I want to get the margin. Uh, I don't think we'll get it. But um, yeah, I mean, he had a really great run. Yotes King and Shadow once again into the top three. Uh, just kept it cool. He really wasn't the flashiest driver, but ran his race and did a great job i mean another third place another top three run and definitely moving up the ranking is in the point standing so all in all a really good race again uh it was pretty exciting the first few stages but then everything mellowed out we had some really good long and racing to top this thing off yeah it, i mean there were a couple of, a couple of cautions early no real big issues i'm going to back out of this i don't want to go to indy um couple of, of early cautions uh, you know again there's a few people in here making their first start not quite sure if they were part of it we definitely saw you know mike and and um and at least one other uh and you know ended a, or uh, have a couple of issues but nothing nothing major uh so definitely those uh, those three that started out tonight will move on and only get better as time goes but um what you would call it uh worm rider out there he's saying keep an eye on mike uh he will uh he's definitely going to contend he's very very good in the ibrl xfinity series he might be the nnr rookie of the year we'll we'll have to see but we're gonna take a quick break here wait for everybody to take finish up their cool down lap and come on over to to chat with us we'll be right back
All right, everybody, thanks for uh, for sticking with us. Absolutely, uh, definitely appreciate it. Well, um, lucky, our top three tonight, Shadowlack. Then we got old Mr. Yotes King, and then the one and only new NNR Bowling. Glad to see, as Mountain would say, repping his NNR red. Let's go ahead and pick up old Mr. Shadowlack, please, sir. Lucky, right, you the got me. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I, I, I got to ask some questions. Cool. All right, awesome. Yeah. Um, I bet. Um, yeah, Shadowlack. Um, another great run tonight. Uh, you had a another solid third place finish here tonight here at Homestead, and stayed pretty quiet for the majority of the race. And then you, uh, you know, you know, turned it up when it really mattered at the end there. So just uh, take us through those first two stages and your your strategy, your game plan coming to the third stage. Uh, well, first, I screwed up in qualifying, had to start 13th, and started on lower stable bar, so I was a little bit tighter than probably some of the guys that were getting loose coming off the turns, and kind of had to just work my way up slowly through the pack. I think I got up to fifth in stage one, uh, stage two, um, a little bit more battling, kind of lost the leaders a little bit. They had the draft I didn't. And then the late cautions and stuff. I got loose on the outside, went from fourth to eighth, I think, in stage two. And then stage three started and was able to work up through some of the trucks. And um, I had a good truck. Um, I was pretty close with bowling, would lose maybe a tenth in turns one and two, and then we were even everywhere else. And uh, I made a small adjustment on the wedge on that final pit stop and loosened it up, and it made it to where it was too loose, which allowed Yotes to catch me. And But finally glad to actually get a decent finish and be in the top three after running pretty damn good. Yeah, congrats to Bowling and Yotes. Yeah, he had a great run tonight, and uh truck was looking really strong. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Pete, but I think next week is – is it Bristol? It is Bristol, yeah. And uh, Vols is out there extremely uh, excited about that. Right. He's still got a $100 uh, bounty down on him, uh, saying that he will win at Bristol Motor Speedway next week. Otherwise, he's going to donate 100 bucks to more than a cape.org so i'm looking forward to seeing how just how prepared vol's gonna be or how he's gonna be able to hold back the uh pretty stiff competition that we've seen so far in the first five weeks right here in this truck series yeah absolutely so uh shadow like if you're still there uh how are you feeling about bristol i mean it's uh world's fastest short, short track uh think feeling good about that one i actually like bristol a lot um, I have a setup from last year's game that kind of transfers over to this year's game. And, uh, I don't know, as long as I don't get caught up in anybody's mess and I get a decent starting position, I can't say I'm going to win, but I feel like, uh, if I don't get a top five, I'll be disappointed. All right. Well, good run. We'll have to keep an eye out for you next week at Bristol and, uh, keep the good work. Thanks, man. Any shout-outs from you right quick, Shad, before you go? Uh, Yeah, I want to shout-out to Koei, who's uh, having a difficult time with his family and um, actually losing a family member, so I want to do a shout-out to him and wish him and his family the best. Um, also, I want to thank uh, the guys that I usually practice with, Bowling, Cowboy, uh, Swats, um, and a few other guys for – um, joining in like a couple hours before the races and doing some practice with me. So thanks to them. There you go. All right. Then I guess I can pick up on old Mr. Yotes King week two P2 after week one P1. Hey, how about that? I uh, don't want to see you fall back to third though next week. You're doing pretty good so far. Yotes, you got <laughs> your ears on, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Well, I'll tell you what, Yotes, first and foremost, thank you very much for the sub earlier. Absolutely appreciate it. Uh, just like I put out there in the in the uh, chat and uh, in the stream, 
man, if you want a chance at a gift card or maybe even another diecast later on, make sure you go on up and smash that subscribe uh, button just like you did. But, Yotes, we were keeping an eye on that 10 truck um, for a good, good part of the night. Um, you know, when the, when the packs were pretty close, you were right there. When it got a little thinned out, you were still right there. But at the end, you lost a little bit of time to the leader. Uh, talk us through the, the second half of that stage. And also, please, remind us uh, where you were in stage one and two. So um, stage one and two, I believe I was fourth. And then stage two, I was third, if I can remember correctly. And then... After that first pit stop with Bull, and I tried to go in with him, and it just it didn't work out the way I want. He got a good jump after that uh, after that pit exit, and I kicked it in the third gear trying to keep up with him through that uh, the corner, the pit exit, and I just I couldn't keep up because I was afraid my car was going to spin. So at that point, I was just focused on just chugging forward and keeping my position. Well, man, I. You, you definitely had a, a, a very fast car, a uh, very fast truck. You, obviously, the 38, he was just on rails all night long. The 52 really looks, uh, looked pretty stout, as well as a couple others. But, man, you got it done last week. This season is a little bit different than what it's been in the, in the past years where, you know, there's no round of 16, round of 12, round of 8, round of 4, and then the championship race. It's a, about an entire season of being – just how you've started out this this season and that is consistent you're definitely doing a great job um and you've been a, a, a pretty fine uh, addition to to the nnr truck series man and i'm definitely looking forward to what you're going to be able to do when we get to bristol next week any expectations for that track and then you know to finish that up any any shout outs from you for tonight uh, for tonight First off, I would like to say, Tennessee, I am coming for that bounty. It's going the more than a cave. I can run. I'm up there in Bristol. I mean, Slo and I, we're good practice buddies, and we've been able to go side by side running, I don't know, maybe 16-1, 15-9 second laps. It's, we're moving around there, and it's just, yeah, that's my, my expectations at least. It's always a top 10, but I'm pushing for that top three next week also and hoping to grab that uh, bounty from Tennessee. And oh, there you I'd go. like to shout out <laughs> I like to shout out Caesar. Uh mom and dad. I know they're probably watching. My uncle, he's probably watching. Um yeah, I mean the guys that made this possible slow. You guys, I mean I got Coey in my heart right now. I feel devastated for what happened for him and I hope that he can bounce back from that and hopefully become better. And my L L R L guys. There you go. All right. Well, Lucky, you know what? Since you're our Pro League uh, Season 2 champ and you got it done at Bristol, why don't you ask old Mr. Bowling what he thought about his race tonight and then going on to old Bristol next week? Yeah, I apologize. I, you threw me a curveball there. I didn't know I was asking, asking questions first. So I was like, you serious? That's cool. Um, thank you. Um, yeah. but yeah, um, Bowling, your second win this season, um, a really commanding one. You, you put a whooping on the field. You did a great job. Um, you know, just take us through your, your, um, just take us through the race, especially that final stage when you had a really big gap, what you were thinking those, um, I don't know. I mean, just throughout the whole stage with all the pit stops, uh, what was going on through your mind. And obviously you won in the, uh, in a, uh, Coey tribute truck. Uh, so that's gotta feel great as well. So just. Tell, tell, talk, talk me through all that. Yeah, first of all, thanks. Um, appreciate, uh, appreciate it. Um, and, and give a shout out to Coey, first of all, um, with what he's going through. Um, it, it's tough for anybody to go through that, but glad we can, uh, you know, do something small on our end um, to hopefully, you know, make him feel a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I had a good truck again. Uh, I feel like I probably had the dominant truck, but the draft is so strong here. You cannot get away. Um, it, it if I could have got away earlier, I would have. But uh, at the end there, um, on that first pit stop in the final stage, uh, when, when me and Yotes pit, I'm like, all right, if he comes out with me, we're going to be stuck together this whole race. If I could just break away from this draft, I am gone. And, well, that's what happened. Um, I just kept pulling away, pulling away. Shad, um, if, if he wouldn't have got caught up in stuff earlier, he might have been able to keep with me. 
Um, but on older tires, he seemed to fall off just a little bit more than I did. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I had a pretty good truck again. <laughs> well, anyway, it was a great rebound after last week. You know, I th- we all thought that we had that one there. And um, it's great to see it back at Bridge Wing once again. Now, um, next week's Bristol. I think it's going to be the first short track on the schedule here that we're going to. Uh, thoughts about that track, how you're feeling, and uh, actually more about how you're feeling about that bounty that's been placed. Uh, I'm actually Vols. pretty ex- pretty excited to for Vols to uh, pay that bounty. Yeah, there you go. That's a good conference there. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you up at the front again. I mean, you've been very strong this season, very consistent. So, uh, can't wait to see what Bristol will be like for you, and great job on a win once again. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, Pete. On you. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. I was not going to say it. That, that's, I was, I was, I can't, I don't care if they're watching, but it's overused and uh, it needs to be stopped. So, uh, yeah, I ain't doing it. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It. It's overused. <laughs> Got it. It's I appreciate stop it. Yep. Uh, I actually just, yeah, uh, it was you. actually just put yeah. out there in any way. Outlaw Dirt Series. Back to you. I, man, I yep. get you. But, uh, slow har, I tell you. Um, but no, man, lucky that was one hell of a race. Couple cautions early, nothing too bad though. It was it was pretty good. Again, some some new guys out there maybe trying to get their feet wet. You know, Banner was talking about a few guys being a little <laughs> rock. I tell you, uh, being a little little uh, you know nervous. NNR has a has a reputation for being very very fast. Uh, not very. You know, many cautions uh, throughout any of the series. So, you know, I think they did their best for a track that is pretty pretty difficult to to come off the corners. So, with with that being said, I I would count this I would count this race as a complete win, and I am absolutely ready to to move on to Bristol uh, next week for these guys but we still have a couple a couple more races that we've got to deal with this week tomorrow night 8 30 eastern we got the xfinity guys and then on uh on thursday night those cup guys they're gonna take their turn lucky i would i would actually almost liken the the uh, coming off of the corners here as like a, a texas motor speedway where you really gotta be a bit careful as far as what preset you select when you're when you're thinking about the long run or beyond at least lap 12 which really seemed to be where most people started to lose it and you know put in put in a little extra time maybe work on that left rear more than the right front or the or the right rear to stabilize that car when you're coming off the corner. What advice would you give to any Xfinity or Cup Series driver that's out there right now thinking about what they saw tonight and maybe worrying about coming off the corners here at Homestead? Well, you always got to practice for the long run, you know, no matter what. Always got to be prepared for that because, as you said, NNR typically has long green flag runs and has a lot of green flag pit stops. So you always got to prepare for that, and that's what produces a good race and that's how you're going to be successful in this in this series so it's you got to always look ahead you always got to be ahead of the game ahead of the curve and got to make sure that you're stable over the course of a long run uh it's very easy to get loose off the corner if you're side by side with someone so you gotta you know practice a lot racing around guys because this track is a very racy track you'll see a lot of side by side and overall just be prepared. I mean, that's the biggest thing. It doesn't matter. It, this goes for every track. You know, it, you know, you gotta be prepared for you know, Las Vegas or side by side, Auto Club at Michigan, um, and even last week at Atlanta. It's always about putting into preparation and what you're gonna do to be ahead of the game, be ahead of the curve. So, um, Xfinity and Cup guys, you guys have a lot to live up to. I mean, there was we had a little rough start there, a few cautions, but everyone brought it back up. They, they brought it back. Uh, more green flag runs. Guys had their cars trucks are more stable so and, and as you go through the series those cars are gonna get looser and looser and they're gonna get harder and harder to control so um it's all about making sure that you are prepared and just ready for what's to come next and um yeah and to Br- about bristol too you know once again i mean it's a short track and it's all very line sensitive so it's all about being ahead of the game you couldn't man yeah perfectly said thank you very much 
So, all right, guys. Well, one more big thank you, Yotes King, for the for the follow. You did it for the for, for the uh, sub with Prime. Boehner, same thing for the sub. Uh, you did it for the follow. Rock NASCAR for the bits. Howler for the bits. Vols for the bits. Walcott for the follow. Vols for some more bits. I appreciate every single one of you that came out, hung out, chatted it up, and kept everybody company, especially me and Lucky. Boehner and, uh, and, um, Oh, man, my bad, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, bit, dip, dip, there we go. But, man, thank you very much for all the help uh, that you that you gave throughout the, throughout the chat. It didn't go unnoticed. Um, definitely looking forward to the races over the next couple of nights. They're going to be something to watch for sure. So make sure you come on out, hang out, and keep company some more. Griff, yeah, I said diff, I think, just there. But we will see you tomorrow night right around 830 Eastern. Please, again, stay safe, stay healthy, keep away from those big packs of people, wear your mask. We all want to get back to a track when it's safe to do so, when all this COVID crap is gone. Hopefully by Martinsville next year, that's when I plan on attending that night race. See y'all then, or see y'all somewhere around the track. Later.